Okay, hey guys, so I have a whole list of everything I'm going to tell you, all the 23 things I've learned. I don't know when I learned these, um, but I have over time. So I'm going to do my makeup while I chat with you guys. Okay, so one of the first things I've learned is nothing is good or bad. It's all about perspective. So you can either look at something as really negative or you can change your mindset about it and look at it as like, what can I learn from this experience? What can I take away from this? The next thing is what you speak into your life becomes reality. So if you talk bad about yourself or if you're always saying that bad things happen to you, then that will be your reality. So instead, you have to say things that are more of what you want so that you can start seeing that and you can start being okay with receiving it as well. Next thing that I have learned is to not take things personally. I feel like I'm an overthinker and I'm always thinking that the reason why people do something to me, say something to me, or act a certain way is my fault or it's because of me, when in reality it's, it has nothing to do with me. It's something that's going on with them. They can be going through things and I wouldn't even know it or like if they were upset and they treated me bad or snapped at me, um, I shouldn't take it personally because I don't know what they're going through. I had to quickly go wash my sponge i'm back so the next thing is that don't put effort into relationships that people don't put effort back so don't try to hang out with someone or communicate with someone or meet up with a person or just do things for someone that doesn't want to do the same thing back for you this is the first time i try this it's supposed to be a primer and have vitamin c and you just glide it under your eye so that it reduces creases, puffiness, and just makes the concealer and your makeup look a lot smoother. Just got it today. Okay, so the next thing I've learned is that if you continue to do something over and over, things are never going to change. You can't expect things to change if you continue to do the same thing. So like if every morning you have a cup of coffee and it get, makes you anxious, you can expect it to not make you anxious. If you want to lose weight but you keep eating the same foods, then you're not going to lose weight. You know, just like things like that, that it's like it's obviously going to keep happening if you continue to let it happen. Things aren't going to change just because you think one day things are magically going to change. You have to put in the effort and you have to do things that make you uncomfortable for things to actually start to change. So the next thing I really, really like, I don't remember when I learned it, but I really love this one. It's if you're jealous about someone or something, acknowledge it and break it down. Like, why are you jealous? Because once you realize why you're jealous, you'll see what it is you want in life. So if you're jealous that someone's traveling, maybe you want to travel more. If you're jealous about someone having a new house, then you know that you want to work towards saving up to buy a new house you know those are just some examples so just acknowledge it appreciate it and root for the other person and root for everyone don't ever try to bring anyone down you know just take it as a learning experience about yourself so this next one is not as deep it's to put three alarms five minutes apart each and i learned this recently when i was going to the gym i used to put one or two or I would have put it really separate apart but the five minute just really wakes me up by the third one I'm up the first one is like no I don't hear it second is like okay I'm getting there and the third is like all right I'm awake obviously it's still not gonna be pleasant but I'm awake so this next one isn't as deep either it's just plan to leave 15 minutes before or like plan to get to the place you're trying to get to 15 minutes before because usually I leave right on time but something happens like I don't take into consideration things I have to put in the car or um, traffic or needing gas so it's always better to plan on getting there 15 minutes sooner or leaving 15 minutes sooner even 10 works okay so the next one is Plan on working on something for five minutes. So if you have a project that seems a little bit too overwhelming or you just keep procrastinating on it, just say, I'm going to work on this for five minutes. And then either you end up working on it longer or it's better to just add a little bit onto the project than 
doing it all at once. It wouldn't be as stressful if you just did a little bit at a time. Okay, so this next one is to share more or just give more. So if you have like a bag of chips and you're eating some, just give the person the rest of the bag of chips because you're either not going to finish them or you're just going to have extra. And it's just best to give people things rather than holding on to them because in the end you'll just be left over with more or it'll just go to waste. So just share more of what you have. Okay, so the next one is don't expect motivation to come. You just have to think about what your future self would want to be and start making little changes or steps towards that because you'll stay there waiting to be motivated or waiting to feel inspired, but it won't come. Maybe sometimes it will a little bit, but it's better if you just start doing things that your future self would be grateful for. So the next one is, it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. I feel like I always look forward to being done with a certain project or just the end result and succeeding in something that I've been working towards, which is nice, but it's also important to be embraced in the journey and what you're learning and experiencing because if not, it just feels like a chore. It doesn't feel as pleasant to be in the journey because the journey is part of that reward of the experience you got. So that's a really, really good one that I've recently learned. So the next thing is that there's a reason why you may be upset or mad. Don't think that you're overreacting about something. I mean, maybe some of us do overreact about little things, but there's still reasons why we're upset. It's not just like, Oh, this person cut in front of line, so now I don't have a right to be mad because it's just one person that jumped in front of me. Like, maybe it is that you you have period cramps that day and just want to get home or like something bad happened to you. It could be deeper than you think, like maybe the person that got in front of you, um made you upset but you're actually more upset about something that happened to you earlier so you think that that's the reason why and you think you're maybe overreacting but there's a reason to why you're upset like break it down because it can start stem from like your childhood maybe you were triggered or maybe just something happened to you or it's just body or you're just tired so don't don't think that there's no reason for you to be feeling a certain way you're just like overreacting or like you shouldn't even be upset like there's a reason why you're upset so think about it because there's always something to it it's not just oh i shouldn't be feeling this way there's a reason so i went to put on a shirt and let this sit for a little bit so the next thing would be that it's okay to be wrong sometimes like i feel like most of us get insecure about not knowing things or um you think you know something but you don't so it's okay to just be like oh you know you may be right or like oh you know I, I didn't know that or you know it's just okay to be wrong sometimes and just accept it and you know own up to it and it's okay just move on so the next thing would be to listen to your emotions and prepare for them for example if you're gonna go to a party or your in-laws house or something and you're not feeling your best just prepare yourself and think about little things you can do like oh i should probably step outside or i should let my boyfriend husband friend know like how i'm feeling about a certain situation so that they're not caught off guard and they can know that i'm not feeling my best or just put little things in place so that when you feel yourself getting overwhelmed or whatever feeling you're going through you are prepared for it the next thing I want to mention is that no relationship is perfect. So you may get in arguments with your boyfriend or girlfriend, but it doesn't mean that the relationship is over, it's not gonna work out. I mean, obviously if they're being abusive or not treating you right, then acknowledge that and get out of that relationship that is not healthy for you or you're not healthy for the other person. But a relationship isn't about 
the bad things that happen it's just about how you deal with them how you communicate how you make sure they don't happen again because that is really what a relationship is from what i've learned it's just about communication working on it and improving it every single time another big one that i feel like i've learned is that it's okay to not be happy all the time it's normal to feel upset or sad because that's what we're gonna go through as humans we don't have to have this expectation of oh we need to be happy all the time if not something's wrong or we're not fulfilling our dreams or goals like it's okay to be upset it's normal just accept it let yourself sit with it and then reflect and you're good it's it's perfectly normal Okay, so I was running late for a family barbecue to celebrate my birthday, so instead I'm going to finish the 23 things I've learned in the car. The next one is take time to reflect on situations in your life. This one's super important because I feel like we suppress our feelings and we don't really reflect on the things that we've gone through. And if we would, we would have a breakthrough. So it's very important to take that time and not just scroll on social media or do something else to keep your mind off. So the next thing is we need to work on healing our trauma so they don't control our lives. A lot of us have many traumas and we don't even know it. There's things that happened to us when we were growing up that really affected us now. So the way we deal with things or the way we react, what we're capable of doing or not capable of doing usually has to do with something that happened to us when we were younger. And it's best to reflect on those things and relive the moments as painful as it is and acknowledge everything about it so we can see how it's affecting us now. Oof, nothing has to be perfect. That is so hard to accept for me because I feel like everything has to be perfect in my mindset or close to perfect and if it's not I get kind of sad but it's better to just let it go and see what good things came out from the imperfections and at the end it's not always so bad and it works out next one is really tough i feel like i haven't fully learned it and it's been one of the hardest things to learn is to not have expectations of people i feel like friends shouldn't treat you bad or talk bad about you or call you names but if you don't have expectations of them not to do that to you then you won't be let down if they do if they do you know just let go of that friendship but when you don't expect things from people you won't be let down like if someone says they're going to be somewhere on at a certain time you don't know what they're going to go through so if they don't make it on time it'll be okay you, it won't affect you and it works like that with so many other things that you may be expecting okay so this is another hard one i've had to learn vocalize the things that bother you if not they get worse i would always rather not talk about the subject because it's uncomfortable and awkward but the thing is the more you don't talk about something the more it's going to start affecting you bothering you and you're not going to be able to let it go so if you just you know in a good calm manner talk about how you're feeling you'll be able to deal with that thing with the other person if possible so here's the last thing i've learned in 23 years obviously more but just for 23 points sake it's okay to outgrow people and I feel like this one connects good with the last one where I mentioned to talk about something that's bothering you with someone else. And if that person doesn't want to hear you out, then you guys outgrew each other. You'll know whether you should keep working on something with someone or if it's best to go your own ways. Because at the end of the day, you don't want to surround with yourself with people that aren't uplifting you. You want to be with people that are making you a better person. So that was the last one. Thank you guys for joining me. I didn't really finish this look, but here's the final result. Comment below any lessons you've learned. Till next time.